Fresno County Sheriff's detectives have arrested a suspected child abuser again after they say they uncovered evidence from a 10th woman who reported abuse in her own childhood. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Margo Kim. We are live on ABC 30, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. Action News reporter Corn Hoggard shows us why the suspect is a free man again, even after prosecutors filed new charges. A new mugshot shows Anthony. Anthony Escobedo last Tuesday after his third arrest in connection with the Fresno County Sheriff's investigation. Escobedo was already facing 15 charges ranging from annoying or molesting a child to possession of child pornography to rape. But detectives believe there were still more victims from Escobedo's time as a Jehovah's Witness. Our investigation led us to believe that there was additional information in the church documents um, in more or less their personnel files that they keep on parishioners. Action News recorded detectives seizing manila envelopes as they served a search warrant last month at Jehovah's Witness churches in Kingsburg and Clovis. Court documents state they found reports naming a previously unknown potential victim. Investigators said an interview with the alleged victim, who's now a grown woman, corroborated a story from one of the earlier victims and provided evidence of an additional alleged crime. Prosecutors filed five new felony charges afterwards, and detectives arrested Escobedo. Investigators say they asked the church for the records, but ultimately executed a search warrant to get them. Detectives say they're still not sure they have the full picture. We're going to keep going. We are. We're going to keep digging. We still have more forensic evidence that we're examining, and you know, if we can find more victims, we're going to. Escobedo has pleaded not guilty to every charge he's faced so far, and he's bailed out after each arrest. His defense attorney pointed out to me that some of the new charges stem from incidents investigated years ago. Tulare County investigators dropped the case in 2012, citing insufficient evidence. And Fresno County prosecutors dropped another in 2014 for the same reason. But prosecutor Andrew Jan says he now counts 10 victims in at least three counties. So he believes Escobedo is too dangerous to be free, and he'll try to convince a judge to keep him in custody. What we've seen is a progression in terms of his conduct. Um, everything from minor groping to full-on molestation and the newest case being an allegation of rape. When we see conduct progress like this, this is a, a warning sign that uh, it's only going to get worse from here. A judge will decide Tuesday whether Escobedo should stay behind bars without bail pending trial. It is a San Joaquin man who is facing two felony charges for possessing and distributing child pornography is out of jail tonight. The deputies say that 34-year-old Anthony Escobedo allegedly shared a video on social media showing a young girl being raped. CBS 47's Shana Kalafi joins us live at the Fresno County Sheriff's Office with more on what deputies are calling a troubling pattern of behavior. Shana. Yeah, Ken Escobedo was booked at the Fresno County Jail yesterday with bail set at $40,000. He's since bonded out, but deputies say there may be more charges still to come once they analyze his electronic devices. On Tuesday, Fresno County Sheriff's deputies arrested 34-year-old Anthony Emanuel Escobedo on felony charges of possessing and distributing child pornography. The investigation started after a tip that Escobedo was using social media to share child pornography. What we discovered is that he was actually uh, passing videos off uh, showing a man raping a little girl who's like three to five years old. Escobedo was arrested at his home in San Joaquin. His electronics were seized and will be analyzed. Possessing and distributing, so he faces those two charges. Um, but then, you know, there could be enhancements. Uh, if he has, say, over 600 images of child pornography, um, that brings the crime to a new threshold. Escobedo has an extensive criminal history related to sex crimes, with active cases in Fresno County for forcible rape and indecent exposure after he was allegedly caught masturbating near schools in Clovis three times. He also has some other allegations of groping young girls and even exposing himself to a young child. So um, it's one of those troubling patterns of behavior. And deputies say Escobedo has lived in Fresno, Clovis, Kingsburg, and now San Joaquin. And because of that pattern of behavior, they believe there may be even more victims who still haven't come forward. So if you have any information to share, call the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. Live in Fresno, Shauna Kalafi, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.